coming to the diagnosis of alopecia totalis, usually expert dermatologist they diagnose it by seeing it. Uh, it is very easy clinically to diagnose alopecia totalis. But sometimes if the doctor is not a dermatologist, then he should send the patient to a trained certified dermatologist and he can, you know, for him it is very easy. But sometimes it becomes difficult also when it is diffuse variety and just starts, then it will be difficult to an expert eyes also to diagnose it. Then we'll take the help of biopsy. In biopsy, there will be some inflammatory infiltrates which are uh, around the hair follicles and damaging them and uh, that nearly establishes the diagnosis. But sometimes, uh, you know, the patient may, will be required to go for some blood tests also. And usually the blood tests are required for when there are some suspecting some other autoimmune diseases like thyroid diseases and uh, diabetes insipidus, then blood tests are also required. Everything, the, the diagnosis proper should be under the, under the you know, uh, guidance of a dermatologist who is an expert and who has got an interest in scalp and hair disorders.